it's your main man Bush Life coming at you with another video in. Oh my god, Orlando Scandrick airs out Eagles dirty laundry. Now I wasn't gonna make a video at all this week, I was kinda happy, but then this story came out. And well I felt like I needed to chime in because he was a Dallas Cowboy at one point. And this shit makes me laugh. And why does it make me laugh? Because he just went all in on the Philadelphia Eagles. And he, his, what he is saying just corroborates everything that has been going on this season with the locker room. Now, I know he talked about how in his post-game interview with the media in the locker room while he's on the team, of course he's going to sit there and say, you know what, like, we're fine. There's nothing wrong in this locker room. Like, y'all making, y'all just trying to make noise, da 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 blah, 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 whatever. And then, of course, he gets released the following day. And I saw this coming. I figured something was going to happen with him only because um, he's an ex-cowboy. You know, maybe he can give y'all some insight. You know, I'll just get blown the fuck up. And it looked like he didn't do nothing that game. Um, so he's the uh, scapegoat. And Howie Roseman basically told him, like, we're going to go with younger guys and give more younger guys a chance and blah, blah, blah. And he basically said, I don't trust Howie Roseman. I don't, I don't believe anything he said. Like, he could be raining. He could tell me that it's raining outside. I'm just going to go grab some shorts just in case. And that's how much he doesn't believe in Howie Roseman or believe Howie Roseman. And boy, this rubbed a lot of Eagle fans the wrong way. Actually, not so much a lot. Like, I'm sure it pissed them off. But a lot of what Eagle fans are starting to realize is that Howie Roseman is hella overrated. Um, it was who that Douglas guy that is now with, uh, I believe, the Browns. He was the one drafting. He was a top scout telling Howie Roseman who to draft and Howie Roseman was going out making those draft picks and then you had Frank Wright who is now in Indianapolis calling the plays and was the head and was the head offensive coordinator um and he was the one that got them to the Super Bowl and now you're seeing Doug Peterson making these play calls and you are fucking four and three with a guy who is the number two overall pick and then you have Frank Wright over there in Indianapolis going five and two I don't get it I don't get it I don't understand it but it is what it is. But anyway, let's get back to the Orlando Scandrick deal. He aired out the dirty laundry. Now, he spoke with Alshon, and Alshon said, dude, it ain't me. And, of course, he's going to believe what Alshon has to say. So why wouldn't he? Um, and a lot of other Eagle fans are starting to believe that it's not Alshon. But for some reason, Eagle fans, a couple of them, think that the rat is Orlando Scandrick. Now, this has going, been going on for two years. And Scandrick has been there for six weeks. And somehow, somehow he's the rat. I mean, I don't, I don't understand that logic. <laughs> and I, and I, there's a couple of guys out there that, that that believe this. Because one guy made his video earlier today, and then a couple hours ago, he's not verbatim, but paraphrasing what the other guy said earlier in his videos. So it cracks me up. So. Brunson, dog, you got other dudes watching what you say and then repeating what you say. Like, it, it cracks me up. It cracks me up. Because you got more than one. Um, we, we discussed one in hate week. But now you got another one that does exactly what you say. Like, it cracks me up. But um, what, what else did Skandrick say? Um, he said, he basically said Malcolm Jenkins was selfish without saying he was selfish. You know, like he's he's basically saying like if you tell this to this 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 person to do something and he just adds fuel to the fire and he don't do it, you know, that's that's basically stuff. But if you're trying to make plays that aren't called upon you instead of sticking to your assignments, you're basically being selfish is what he's saying. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. We don't watch Eagles uh, vi uh most of us don't watch Eagles games, um, because once they, they don't they don't play them down here unless you got the ticket. They don't play them down here in Texas. So, you know, so you can't really watch them unless they're on Fox, which this week the Bills game is, so I'm going to watch that game. But, um, yeah, Orlando Skandrick just fucking just decimated the Philadelphia Eagles this week. Some people are saying, some Eagle fans think that um, they woke a sleeping giant. Now, that is um, a title in Philly 500's video, but I'm using that as a generality for the guys that think that that, right, that this interview is going to be the spark to launch this Eagles team, which I don't think it will. 
Um, I, I really don't. Um, I think it was uh, did the complete opposite. It's just gonna bring more, more scrutiny, more turmoil, more drama to this already decimated team. But um, that's all I really got to say. I really don't gotta say much about it because um, we already know that the Eagles have a lot of shit going on in that locker room and you know when you're on the team you're trying to as a professional you want to keep it in-house and cover it up cover it up as much as possible but when you're not on the team what do you have to lose to say you know nah basically what y'all what y'all are seeing in the media is true now like i said a lot of like there's a couple evil video makers that are pissed and made videos about it and it just, it makes me laugh because it just it does this this team to me is done they got nothing they you know they, they got spoiled with that first um, Super Bowl championship because you got a lot of guys like he said like like Skandrick said you have a lot of guys on this team that were spoiled that all they know is thirteen and three all they know is being a rookie and winning the Super Bowl they don't know what a losing season is they don't know what it is to be um, going through um adversity like that they think that adversity is going nine and seven and making making the playoffs they still made the playoffs that's not adversity adversity is going through a losing season um you know and, and being stuck at the bottom for a while a lot of these guys don't know what it is they don't know what it's like to be at the bottom these guys that these rookies that just came in and won the super bowl they don't know Hell, even seven to nine and just barely missing the playoffs in Carson Wentz's rookie career, uh, rookie uh, season, that's not adversity. That's not nothing. That, that ain't a thing. So, you know, <laughs> it just cracks me up to see what, what's actually going to happen with this Eagles team because they're done. I think this 2019 season is done for them. I think the Giants are probably going to end up with more victories than them. And... Um, um, it, it, this the season makes me laugh, and of course I'm gonna do a, a video at the end of the season making fun of the Eagles when they're at the bottom, um, you know. But it is what it is for the Eagles, you know. Um, you know the first, the two weeks ago, Zach Brown said, you know, you gotta bottle up the you gotta bottle up the the quarterback, make him work for it, and uh, he gets let go, the escape goat there. Um, you have. Uh, Doug Peterson talking about we're going to go down to Dallas and we're going to win they lose and Skandrick is the escape goat not Peterson he should probably be fired too for saying something like that um, sorry for the sirens like that's a fire truck two fire trucks and an ambulance went by um, but yeah man it's just a whole bunch of crazy shit going down in Eagles Nation, and I feel bad for them. I, I, I truly do. They had such high hopes. Um, I feel bad for them as a fan, but as a Dallas Cowboy fan, I should say as an NFL fan, I feel bad for their what's going on. But as a Cowboy fan, all I can sit and do is just go, <laughs> because all the shit they talked this season, all off season, all the shit they talked, all the... All the clipboards brought out and how Sidney Jones was this great, promising athlete, which was, again, said today, I might add you. I was told, not told, but I heard that Sidney Jones was a great, promise, promising, developing corner. What? After he's been trashed week in and week out, now he's a promising, developing corner. Get out of here with that bullshit. But anyway... You know, that's all I got. I got to get out of here. I'm out. Peace.